Welcome back to the kitchen everybody. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. Now, we got a really interesting video for you guys today. I'm talking 10 different ways to sear your tuna. So it's time to break out of the tradition of the classic sesame sear. How about some black and how about some wasabi pea crusted? We are doing it up with 10 different ways to sear your tuna. I'm gonna walk you guys through the whole process, choosing the seasonings, the spices, now let's get started. Okay, so starting with the tuna, I'm gonna be using blackfin tuna for today's sear demo. Now I like rectangular, square, or triangle pieces of my fish with all the bloodlines removed, all the fibrous pieces removed. This video is also kind of just an experiment for me to see what flavors would and wouldn't work with the seared tuna, the classic seared tuna. So let's begin. First off, we have a classic blackened seasoning. I have some ground up almonds. These are wasabi peas ground up in a blender, magic bullet, food processor, whatever you got, it'll work. Beautiful colors, and that's the thing I like about seared tuna is the colors. So now we have some cilantro, some cilantro seared tuna, which is delicious. Now we have a little bit of a chili garlic blend, with this, which is just red chili and garlic. Now this one is a little bit funky, but actually came out pretty good. This is garlic parmesan. That's right, you heard it. That's just Kraft cheese and garlic powder. Now we have the classic sesame. We have black and white sesame seeds. This is just a basic teriyaki glaze, a ginger teriyaki glaze. Now one of my favorites was ginger and orange zest. So grated ginger with some orange zest. Now we have a homemade lemon pepper. This is just lemon zest with black pepper. Ideally, I'd want to uh, dehydrate the lemon zest, but didn't have time for that. So now we're gonna be using two oils to sear our tuna. The first is gonna be a sesame oil. So all of the flavors that I would want associated with it would be the sesame seeds, the ginger, uh, the cilantro, things that really complement the sesame oil. And all I did with any combination was coat my fish first in the oil of choice and then I just coated the uh, outside of the fish with cilantro, wasabi pea, whatever it may be, and just try to make sure everything sticks nicely. Now the other oil that I used was olive oil. Uh, great flavor, very robust. I used that for the chili garlic, for the lemon pepper, for the almond, and trying to really just match those flavors to the oil that would work best. So when it comes to the searing process, I prefer a non-stick pan, medium, medium high heat, and you really, th this is a visual cooking process, you know, uh, sometimes it takes 10 seconds, 15 seconds, but you just want the outside to turn white. So occasionally I would swirl my tuna around just to make sure that it does have oil on it at all times. And if you need to add some oil, some extra oil besides what you added initially for the coating, go ahead and do so. You know, tuna has very minimal fat, just like most fish from the beginning. So adding a little bit of oil will definitely not hurt you. And I like to pat my fish down a little bit with a spatula at times or the tongs to really get that sear mark. Now tell me these don't look absolutely beautiful. Drop a comment below if your guy's mouth is watering, just like mine. Now, when it comes to cutting sear tuna, it's a very delicate process. You need a very sharp knife. I'm using this Dexter sashimi knife right here. I'm gonna have it linked below. And you want to use the majority of the length of the blade and real delicately. You can actually place your seared tuna in the fridge or in the freezer for a little bit because the colder a fish is, the easier it is to slice. And I do about quarter inch widths for the slicing. Now look at that baby, man, my mouth is watering once again, just doing this voiceover. So here's a little bit of the lemon pepper action. And you guys see, it's just that outside that you want cooked. Um, you know, you don't want to overdo it. Like I did a little bit too much on this almond crusted tuna. But, and it also another thing, you gotta make sure you're using really fresh fish and a good firm piece of tuna, otherwise your uh, fish will fall apart very easily. All right guys, I present to you the fruits of our labor. We have our little seared tuna platter. Now let's see if Brookie can guess what is what. This is obviously sesame, Correct. wasabi, ginger, garlic powder. And garlic parmesan, that's almond. 
Oh, almond. This is the pepper. Chili pepper, red chili. Red chili pepper. This is black and this is cilantro. I don't know what that is. Lemon pepper. That's uh, like a teriyaki glaze. Ooh, I'm gonna try that first. All right, guys. Okay, every first bite, no soy sauce or anything else. All right. After that, it's a free for all. <laughs> Deal. You know what? In no, ginger. no, orange, orange ginger. Orange ginger. Wow. So good. That one's good. The um, teriyaki one is good. Orange that ginger. That one's really good. This is the wasabi one. Wasabi pea. Try that one. Is it hot? No. Not hot at all. I think you actually might like it. You're not a big wasabi lover, but I think you might like that. You can hardly taste the wasabi, can you? Mm-mm. -mm. You like it? It's good. Okay, I want you to try this. This is the chili, red chili garlic. That one's good too. I'm trying to like remember them all so I can say my favorites at the end. Going in for the lemon pepper. Now blackened. I think blackened is the only one that I have not had. We love blackened things, so this hit the spot. Mmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Blackened I think was the best. It was ginger and lemon. Yes. Yes, Second yes. best. Wow, so good. The lemon pepper, really good. My favorite by far, chili garlic, lemon zest, and probably blackened. Honestly, I wasn't a big fan of the teriyaki. I didn't I like I wasn't the cold. biggest fan of the almond. Almond, and then the other one that I'm not, that was good was the garlic parm. But I think the garlic parm is also something that needs to be hot, you know? Not necessarily cold, but oh my gosh. If you guys have never tried the, the ginger, grated ginger with lemon zest, so good. It's like, you know, ginger just pairs so well with tuna. It's very fragrant. And you're not a big ginger girl. Not a big ginger girl, but and big ginger seared girl. Like, opens your palate. It's just so good. Yeah. All right, guys, so I am going to eat some seared tuna with my woman. I want to thank you guys <laughs> so much for watching this video. And if you guys have any homemade recipes or, you know what, if you can think of a really cool combination to sear that we could try in a future video, go ahead and comment, comment it below. I'd really like to hear what you guys either do at home or what you might think would work. So if you guys haven't already subscribed to the channel, Hit the like button if you guys like these videos, if you want to see more, and I will catch you guys in that next video. See ya!